Um, hope you slept well. Hope you weren't too cold on top of this matter. All of you from South India, sorry. All of you from North India, isn't it beautiful? So it all depends on where you come from, doesn't it, really? You'll notice that I'm holding my uh, mobile phone. You'll recognize this. It's a very nice one. It's an Apple iPhone 6 Plus. Not many people can afford one of these. Um, but there is a law. I just wanted to remind you of the law of the mobile phone, of the smartphone. And the, and the law says that at the quietest and most inconvenient and embarrassing time, this is when your mobile phone will ring. And you will have that embarrassing moment where you shuffle through all your clothes and your handbag and you just can't shut it off. And I want to prevent that for you. So look at me. I'm going to turn mine off. It's off. And um, hey, you're welcome to turn yours off because the law is as strong here as anywhere else in the world. <laughs> So once again, welcome to you all. Um, just wanted to uh, say to you that we are going to try to um, run all the sessions pretty much on time. And we don't want any of you to miss anything. So um, be on time, will you? Uh, it's because we have so much that uh, we're going to share with you today and, and tomorrow. And we're very much looking forward to that. So for those of you who weren't here last night and who may not know me, uh, my name is Anthony. I'm your master of ceremonies. So very simple task. I've just got to get all the various different speakers up onto the stage. And I'm going to do my first one right now. It is a great pleasure, as always, for me to ask Mr. Nizar Juma to come up and address you with some uh, opening remarks. Nizar. Namaste. Om Shanti. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know, um, our daddy Janki, who you will meet later this morning, always says everything three times, particularly Om Shanti. And you have to say it very loudly in return. Otherwise, she'll make you keep on saying it until you say it loud enough. So I'm just getting you used to that idea. So as Anthony already said, we are delighted to have all of you here. And we are delighted with the response because eventually we got to a stage where we had to say, start saying no to people because we have a limited uh, number of accommodation here. So unfortunately, some we had to say no to, but I'm very happy to see so many of you made it. Some came even at 1.30 this morning. Others have arrived this morning and are still settling in. So we are delighted to, to welcome all of you. Somebody suggested that I should think about having the next retreat in Kenya. <laughs> so that, you know, we could then, um, have some uh, yoga with the animals in the bush. <laughs> but that's not impossible. You know, we, we had last season, we had uh, a group of 50 that came from uh, Borivali. And some of you maybe are here from there. So retreats are something that we would very much like to continue because in the future of our programs, which in case some of you don't know, we did 57 cities of which 54 was in Bharat. And we have a database of about 2,500 people who attended our dialogues. And today we will probably have 200 or thereabouts. So you can imagine that we can continue this for 10 years and still have some people left over. Future of power, for those of you who have not attended our programs, because this time, as you know, we've also allowed spouses to participate, because there's no reason why they should feel left out. So we've even included spouses this time. And so 
They have not attended our event, so I want to give you a short preview of what Future of Power is all about. We went into each city and we invited the heads of 20 different professions. And these professions were very varied, so we had some who were sports people, actors, authors, medical people, business people, politicians, and so on. We chose 20 different professions, and we invited two or three from each one to a dialogue. And in this dialogue, we talked about where is Bharat today? Where was it? Because many, many people don't know that until two and a half thousand years ago, the world power was here in Bharat. And over time, it shifted from Bharat and went to many other countries. It went to Greece, it went to China, went to Egypt, went to Spain, went to Great Britain. And today it's in the United States of America. But power shifted. As it shifted, it also changed its mode. Power, when it was in Bharat, was soft power. Because we were ruled by benevolent kings who cared for their people. So people of Bharat became very trustworthy. And they even allowed other rulers, because they came in with the guys to say, we are coming to protect you, we are coming to do business, we are coming to whatever, and we let them in. But as power moved to other countries, it became harder and harder. And today, power which is in the United States, the definition is how much guns and bombs and missiles and money do I have? That decides power. And a lot of us have also changed and say, there is nothing like spiritual power. There is only the power of bombs and guns and money. But power is now shifting. We have seen since 2007 that the world recession is affecting most of Europe and Western world, including America. Most of Europe is already on the brink of bankruptcy except Germany. And even America has a debt of 216% compared to the GDP. So power is shifting again. And shifting back to Bharat. You're, you're all seeing the signs of it, aren't you? Five, six years ago when we started this program, when we used to say power is coming back to India, a lot of people used to say, really? I don't hear that very often anymore because there is more credibility now. Yes, we can accept the fact that Bharat will rule the world again. But is it going to be soft power? Or are we going to sit also with guns and missiles and bombs and rule the world? And if we want soft power, how do we bring soft power? And to start soft power, we need to bring it first into our lives, into my life. I need to do this. When I do this, others will do. And it's not about religion. Don't get the two mixed up. We are talking spirituality. Religion is something that we are born with all our lives. We are told this is your religion. This is the best one. All the others are inferior. And that's fine. All religions do the same. Spirituality is what I adopt, what I imbibe, what I accept into my lives. So if I decide from tomorrow I don't want to give you sorrow, I want to be humble and not have ego, I don't want to be angry, I have started to become spiritual. It's not complicated, but I need to imbibe it, I need to bring it into my life. And so that is the process that we have started over many, many years. And this is the process that we want to continue over time. So many of you write to us and say, 
our life is changed. Our life is taken another course. Now we are thinking. We are not just become action reaction people. We are thinking about what we do, how we react, what we do. So this is the basis of future of power. And what we are intending to do over the next two year, two days, when we've got you here, is we want to bring in more and more spirituality into your lives. But not just spirituality theory. We want to bring practical spirituality into your lives. So we've got, apart from people like Shivani, we've also got people like Neville Hodgkinson, people like Surya, who is a scientist, Neville, who is an author and a science correspondent for a major newspaper in England. Like that, we have people who are coming in to demonstrate to you practically how can we imbibe spirituality? Because this is about changing my life in a positive way. It's almost like we are at the crossroads and we have to decide which way do I go. And taking that right path so that I feel good about my life. I feel better about my life than I do now. I feel confident and I can imbibe inner power because everybody here is looking for power there's nobody here who is saying I don't want power everybody wants power what kind of power if I have a lot of power I still want more power so we want to first become internally more powerful than we are today that's the power that we need so I can face in a more confident way everything that the environment and the world and the vibrations are hitting me with. I want to see how can I put up with it because our lives are getting more complicated. Everything around us is a little bit more difficult than it was last year. So I want to cope. How can I cope is first to become internally more powerful. And that's what we will show you over the next two days how to have all the implements with which to become more and more powerful every day. Our first um, session is uh, from somebody called Shiluban, who is an old, old yogi. She's not old to look at, please don't get me wrong. She's very young looking, in fact. But an old yogi. And she will tell us about myself, who am I? And people following after that will then tell you, who is God? How can I connect? How can I become more and more internally powerful and bring more and more spirituality into my life? So please adopt as much as you want, as much as you can. We will also have at some time sessions where you can also get involved, where you can get involved and say, I'm not clear about this or I'm not clear about that, so that we can then come and give you more information. Because our purpose is absolutely you. Our purpose is not us or anything else or the environment. Our purpose is you. How can we make you feel better about yourself, better feel good about yourself by the time you go from here? So there is no other agenda. Or may ye kene bulgya ke our sari sessions English or Hindi dono mein hoyegi. Mera Hindi itna acha nahi hai jaisa aapko malum hai lekin wo jo tuti futi bhi hai Hindi isme bhi hum koshish karenge lekin Shilu Ben jaisa wo to Hindi mein bol sakti hai pure Hindi mein aur aisa aur bhi aayenge Shivani bhi Hindi English ka mixture karke bol rahi hai aap unko to pehchante ho aur aise hamare Jitne bhi Hindi mein bol sakenge, wo Hindi mein bolenge. Okay? Jo English mein bol sakenge, jo aap kuch chahiye, to unka translator bhi hum side mein rakh sakte hain. Aisa, as we go along, we'll play along. Okay? So enjoy yourself, become powerful, become a sponge. Take as much as you can during the next two days. That is our intention. 
Okay? Enjoy yourselves. Thank you. Thank you, Nizar.